Classical Music Readers, Level 4. The Works of Gustav Mahler. Copyright 2023, Seed Learning. All rights reserved. Who was Gustav Mahler? Gustav Mahler was born in Bohemia in 1860 and was raised in the town of Jilava. There, he heard a lot of music, military music and folk music, among others. When he was four years old, he found his grandparents' piano, and it changed his life. Mahler learned to play the instrument and began performing in public when he was 10 years old. At the age of 15, he went to Vienna to study the piano. However, two years later, he decided to concentrate on composing and conducting, which remained his two great loves throughout his life. After completing his studies of composing and conducting, Mahler worked as a conductor in opera houses in Germany and Austria-Hungary. However, he was not happy with the quality of the singers. The singers didn't like Mahler because he had a very demanding reputation. He was extremely difficult to work with. Mahler finally rose to become artistic director of the Vienna State Opera in 1897, at age 37. He held this position for 10 years. As director, Mahler had very high standards of performance. He was an idealist and a perfectionist. He pushed himself and his artists with an energy that was inspiring to them. However, he did not care about the personal lives of the people he worked with. Many people found Mahler a hard and uncaring man. So, he had many enemies who tried to get him removed from his positions. Mahler often conducted his own works. When he conducted pieces by other composers, he did it according to his own ideas. He was not the kind of conductor who tried to make the music as close as possible to what the original composer had wanted. Mahler always wanted the music to sound how he thought it should sound. Mahler worked hard and his job took most of his time and energy. However, Mahler spent his summer vacations in the Austrian mountains. He spent his vacations composing. During the theater season, he would review and orchestrate the works he wrote over the summer. In the end, the Vienna State Opera felt that he was spending too much time on his own music. In 1907, he found a job as a conductor in New York. He still returned to the Austrian mountains every summer and finally returned to Vienna to die in 1911. During his life and in the years after his death, Mahler was mainly seen as an amazing conductor, not as a composer. It has only been in the last 60 years or so that his importance and genius as a composer have been fully understood. As a composer, Mahler found something new to say in his music. His symphonies often have long melodies, and he used folk songs as well as new sounds in the orchestra. His music switches from emotion to emotion in the same way that people do in real life. Symphony Number 2 
1894. Mahler's Symphony No. 2, the Resurrection Symphony, was one of his most popular and successful works during his life. This work reflects his view of the beauty of life after death and resurrection. It uses a full chorus, an enormous string section, an organ, wind and brass sections, lots of percussion, and soloists. It is a very powerful symphony. Mahler began to write it in 1888, but he did not finish it until 1894. Mahler got inspiration for this work while he was at a funeral. Indeed, the symphony got its nickname, Resurrection, from a program written by Mahler himself in which he included the line, Die shall I in order to live, rise again, yes, rise again. Mahler first heard this line at that funeral. Mahler shared the program with several of his friends, although later he took it back. In this program, the first movement represents a funeral and asks questions such as, Is there life after death? The second movement is about happy memories of the life of the dead. The third movement represents a view of life as having no meaning. The fourth movement is a wish to escape a life without meaning. Finally, the fifth movement ends with the hope for renewal and rebirth. Das Lied von der Erde, 1909 Das Lied von der Erde, The Song of the Earth, is an orchestral series of songs for two voices with an orchestra. One can tell that Mahler composed this work following a really painful and difficult period in his life. He had lost his job at the Vienna State Opera. His first daughter, Maria, had died from what are today normal childhood illnesses. On top of that, Mahler learned that he had a serious heart problem. So, of course, the songs cover themes like life, separation, and being saved. In 1909, Hans Bethke's Die Chinesische Flöte, The Chinese Flute, was published. In it, Bethke wrote translations of classical Chinese poems. Mahler fell in love with these poems, so he set a few to music. The first movement is The Drinking Song of Earth's Misery. It repeats the line, Dark is life, dark is death. Based on a poem by Li Bai, it mixes extreme happiness with deep misery. It seems to fit Mahler's mood at the time perfectly. Das Lied von der Erde is the first ever complete joining of a song cycle with a symphony. It was a combination of the two forms that Mahler used the most throughout the rest of his career. Symphony No. 9 1909 Mahler's last finished symphony seems to express the complicated feelings of someone facing the end of life, with moments of fear every once in a while. Although Mahler was only 50, he knew his heart would not work much longer. Understanding this, you can see that this symphony shows his hope and despair, his confusion about life's meaning and chaos, his joy, and his resignation. This symphony truly has every emotion that humans can possibly feel. Symphony No. 10 
Since he meant it to be his final symphony, he wanted to go out in style. Mahler composed it for a huge orchestra, large woodwind and brass sections, and a percussion section that includes just about everything. Listening to the last movement, it seems like Mahler is thinking about the reality of death, but with a sense of joy instead of sadness. There is a truly deep feeling of joy. Despair and suffering are used to help us discover the meaning of life. As Mahler himself said, What one makes music from is still the whole human being. Mahler did not live to see his Ninth Symphony performed. He died of heart disease at the age of 51.